The Egyptian male cat is known for their lightning fast speed. These spotted beauties are extremely rare and hold a very high status as one of the oldest domesticated cat breeds in history. Some ancient civilizations may have actually worshipped them as gods. Let's take a closer look at what makes the Egyptian male so interesting. Where did the Egyptian male come from? Its history dates back to more than 5,000 years ago, as represented in many Egyptian writings. Cats have a special relationship with the ancient civilization in Egypt, firstly as rodent exterminators while guarding large storage of grains belonging to the royal household, and then subsequently as snake killers too. They later became so respected that they were recognized as sacred animals to their gods. The Egyptian cat cult showed descriptions of these cats in their sculptures and paintings. The image of spotted cats that were believed to be the predecessors of the current Egyptian Mao. These cats were worshipped and there were paintings that told old stories about why they were so respected. Oh, and fun fact, Mao means cat in Egypt, so there would be no point in saying Egyptian Mao cat. A painting dated as far back as 1400 BC showed a spotted cat giving a dead duck to a hunter as the product of its hunts. These spotted cats can be seen in many papyrus paintings, indicating that they were not only worshipped and idolised, but also had a good relationship with people as pets. Of course, there isn't any real evidence to the stories about Egyptian males in those times, but we do know that they are living artefacts of a very old era. The European cat fanciers officially recognised the Egyptian male in the 1900s. This was followed by cat fancier groups in France, Italy and Switzerland. There was a need to preserve the Egyptian Mao breed as there were other mixed breeds claiming to be the Egyptian Mao, but there were clear differences in the looks of these mixed breeds in comparison to them. Then tragedy hit. The Second World War caused the Egyptian Mao to almost go into extinction. Egyptian males became very rare as their population was reduced to very few numbers. Luckily, an exiled Russian princess named Nathalie Trebetskoy ensured that the numbers of Egyptian Mao increased until they were brought back from becoming completely extinct. She rescued some Egyptian Mao's and imported even more through the Syrian embassy in 1956. How would you know an Egyptian Mao if you saw one? Let's take a look at their physical attributes. The Egyptian Mao's head is medium, slightly rounded, with moderately pointed average ears. It has almond-shaped, slightly slant, green-coloured eyes. All Egyptian males have green-coloured eyes, although an amber cast may be acceptable in kittens. Egyptian males are medium in size and develop a muscular physique as they grow. Their hind legs are longer than the ones in front while standing upright. They have five front toes, while those at the back are four. They also have a slightly tapered medium-length tail that is thicker at the base. Does your Egyptian male have a worried look? Don't worry, that's just the typical mascara lines on their cheeks that almost creates a serious expression. The markings on the typical Egyptian male are some of the subtle giveaways that help to identify the breed. Another way to be absolutely sure that you have an Egyptian male is that when you look closely at their forehead, you'll see lines that form an M shape of a scarab. Egyptian males have a lustrous coat that is medium in length. They come in six major colors, bronze, silver, black, pewter, caramel, and smoke. The pewter and black males are usually not made public because they are only used for breeding. The color pattern is mostly tabby. They also have a height between 7 to 11 inches and an average weight of 8 to 12 pounds. The lifespan of a regular Egyptian male is about 9 to 15 years. One of the most important ways to know if you've got an Egyptian male is by observing the long dark stripe that runs all the way from its head along the spine to its tail. These physical features are present in every accepted Egyptian male pure breed. Did you know that the Egyptian male is the fastest domestic cat there is? Yes, that is a fact. The long hind legs do play an important role in its great strides. They measure a speed above 29 miles per hour. In comparison, most house cats have a top speed of around 20 to 25 miles per hour. That is one fast feline. Furthermore, their powerful hind legs allow them to jump really high. They have been measured to jump as high as six feet vertically. 
Also, it should be noted that the gestation period, which is the amount of time between conception and birth for Egyptian males, is considerably longer than other regular cats. A normal cat would gestate for about 65 to 67 days before birth. You might need to wait up to 73 days before getting your new kittens. How rare is the Egyptian male? Well, the number of kittens registered per year with the governing council of the cat fancy is less than 200, which makes the Egyptian males extremely rare. Now, let's talk about the personality of the Egyptian male. These cats are very dedicated to their humans and often express themselves vocally when they are happy or to show other emotions. They have the most adorable voices and will keep you pleasantly entertained with their spontaneous singing. Watch out for that swishing tail and kneaded front paw too. It shows that they are in a good place right now and that life's going great. Hunting has always been an instinct for most cats and the Egyptian male isn't any different. It loves to run around chasing objects and retrieving just about anything you throw. Their level of activity varies from medium to high, depending on the personality and genetics of your cat. The best way to keep your cat engaged is to provide interactive toys and pet puzzles that allow them to express themselves and burn out all that excess energy. Your Egyptian male may be a little shy of meeting new people at first, but that's not a problem. Once they get accustomed to the person's presence, they'll come climbing onto their shoulders and rubbing against visitors in no time at all. So, how do they fare with other members of the family? Egyptian males are highly intelligent, majestic and very affectionate pets. They love to be part of a family, however, they usually have a strong attachment and bond to one particular person. They are great with children and other cat-friendly pets. They do not talk nearly as much as the Siamese cat, but you can often hear chortles, chirps, meows and whistles. They certainly make wonderful pets and can be very playful in a safe and warm environment. Their love for water might keep them coming back to turn on the water faucet or make them wander around water fountains. There is nothing more important than caring for your pet and ensuring that they are in good health. How should you care for an Egyptian male? Let's start off with good grooming. Shedding in Egyptian males is average and brushing is not usually tedious. Brushing once or twice a week will keep their coat looking silky smooth and free of debris. It is also essential bonding time. Observe them regularly to see if they may be reacting to anything or require a change of diet. Ensure that they shed unnecessary weight by staying active and exercising regularly to avoid being overweight. What are some of the special needs of the Egyptian male? They are not the sort of cat that snooze all day in a cosy environment. So if you had the intention of keeping one at home all alone, think again. Egyptian males are energetic, playful and constantly have a need to exercise. So playtime is the highlight of their day. You can make them happy by providing a safe environment for them to play and climb in. You can make use of cat trees and cat wheels in order to make their environment more stimulating. The outdoors is quite favourable for your cat's mental health. Taking them on walks with a harness helps to boost their confidence and fitness, and not to mention improving bonding time with your furry friend. Cats generally have a thing for high places, including the Egyptian male. They find sitting in high places very comfortable and would often fall asleep while scouting the area. Cats love to survey their environment. This may be due to their predatory nature and fondness of seeing things from afar or just to entertain themselves while lying in their favourite outpost. You can make your cat comfortable and happy by providing them with a cat tree, a hammock or a cat perch. Then again, cats love to improvise and they will go to where they feel most comfortable. This could be on top of the bookshelf, refrigerator or even the kitchen cabinet. Egyptian males can fare very well on their own and do like to have their own personal space, but not for extended periods. If you are always away from home, then you might want to consider getting a second pet to keep them company. This will reduce the anxiety that builds up due to being separated from you and stop your Egyptian male from tipping over your expensive ceramics and scratching up your furniture. Does the Egyptian male have any health issues? Luckily, crossbreeding through the ages contributed to eliminating many common ailments in the breed. However, Egyptian male owners still have a few genetic issues to look out for. The most common conditions are periodontal disease, which can be managed by good oral hygiene. 
and patella luxation, a dislocation or displacement of the joints in the limbs, which can be avoided by a healthy lifestyle and diet. These health issues are likely to present themselves as the cat begins to age. This is where diet becomes very important. A good diet can help in the prevention of some of these health problems, helping your cat to maintain a strong, healthy body. Also, making regular visits to the vet will help ensure that your cat is healthy and give you a peace of mind. How much does it cost to acquire an Egyptian Mao? You can get one for about $900 to $2,500. There are also other related fees such as supplies, vet costs and perhaps relocation. The cost of caring for Egyptian Mao's ranges between $150 to $500 monthly. Seems a bit expensive? There are other options, such as the local animal shelter. You can contact the one nearest to you for information on their availability or perhaps a similar breed.